happy Friday again and Chapel Day. Um, remember that there are those songs that we like um, to sing at Chapel. Remember there's a link on that website where you got this video. There's a link at the bottom with favorite songs if you want to sing any Chapel songs today. Okay, so today is Friday, which means spelling test. So hopefully you've been practicing those errs, the E-R-I-R-U-R -R -R words, and go on Spelling City and take that test and then have your um, your parents send us a screenshot of that says of how many you got right. So hopefully you've been practicing those and we'll remember those. Um, we also have our treasures book, and we're going to make this optional today, which means you can read it, but you don't have to read it. But it's a fun story. It's called uh, Fruit is a Suitcase for a Seed. So it kind of gives you, since we read about cranberries and, and strawberries, so a fruit is a suitcase for, uh, for seeds on page 132. And it kind of talks about how um, the fruit protects the seed inside. And so it's a fun story if you want to read that. Maybe if it's a nice day today, you can even read it outside somewhere. Um, so that's optional. And then you do have a Friday book in your packet. So make sure you're reading that and taking the AR test either today or Monday on that Friday book, okay? Now, yesterday, I ha we had you write about what would you wish for? Right, so we loved seeing your answers and you guys had some great ideas of things that you would wish for. And I wanna tell you about King Solomon. So King Solomon, remember we said he became the next king when his dad David died. And King Solomon got that asked of him by God. God said, Solomon, I will give you anything you want. What would you ask for? Now, Solomon, he said this. He said, God, give me wisdom so that I can be a good king to your people. Wasn't that a great thing to ask for? He didn't ask for anything for himself, really. He yet wanted wisdom so that he could be a good king for everyone else. That was a really cool thing. So God was so pleased with Solomon's answer. He said, I will give you wisdom red is running out. I will give you wisdom, but I also, because I'm so happy with your answer, I'm also going to give you riches. Lots of you. It's going to be rich, lots of gold and silver and all sorts of jewels and everything. And I'm going to give you honor. I'm going to make you famous. Everyone's going to know about you and know the great things that you've done and know about your wisdom that you have. So Solomon got those things. He became very wise. In fact, he became so wise that people would come and ask for his opinion on things. In fact, there was one time where there was two women that were living in the same house and they both had a baby. And the one, the one lady's baby died during the night. She woke up and she saw that her baby laying next door on the bed had died. So she got up and she snuck into the room of the other lady and she took her baby and left her the one that wasn't alive anymore and took her baby like it was her own. And, and in the morning, the other woman woke up and she said, wait, this isn't my baby. This, that's your baby. You stole my baby. And she said, no, I didn't steal your baby. Yes, you did. So they argued back and forth. That's my baby. No, it's my baby. No, it's my baby. No, it's my baby. And finally, they were like, enough. We're going to go to King Solomon, and he will figure out whose baby it really is. So they went to King Solomon, and they told the story. And she said, well, I woke up, and this baby was next to me. It's not my baby. She switched the babies in the night. And so then the lady said, no, I didn't. That's my baby. And they went back and forth. It's my baby. It's my baby. It's my baby. And finally, King Solomon said, enough. And he said to his guard, bring the baby here. So they brought the baby. And he said to the guard, cut the baby in half and give half to each mom. Now, does that seem like a good idea? Does not seem like a good idea, right? Uh, if you cut the baby in half, it's going to be dead, right? So the, the, uh, the guard raised his sword to start to cut the baby in half. And the real mom said, wait, 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 wait. Don't hurt the baby. Don't hurt the baby. Give it to her. She can have him. I just don't hurt my baby. And Solomon said, that, that is the real mom, the one who cared about the baby. 
And so he said, give it to her. So the real mom ended up getting the baby because she's the one that really loved that baby and didn't want the baby to be cut in half and Solomon knew that the real mom would not let the baby to be hurt. So that was pretty cool, right? So there's all sorts of stories in the Bible of Solomon's wisdom. In fact, there is a whole book in the Bible of Solomon's wise sayings. We call it the book of Proverbs. You say that? Proverbs. And a proverb is... A wise saying. That's what Proverbs mean. So it's a wise saying, a saying that to live by, and they're written by Solomon like, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6. All right, so make sure... Um, that you are practicing our Psalm 23 too, but also it's good to know you can maybe read some Proverbs with your family for devotions or something, since there's a lot of wise things that Solomon wrote in there too.